Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. Today, let's take a quick look at some prophecy-related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satellite images show Iran cleaning up evidence from nuclear work. According to the Associated Press, Satellite images of an Iranian military facility appear to show trucks and earth-moving vehicles at the site, indicating an attempted cleanup of radioactive traces, possibly left by tests of a nuclear weapon trigger. The assertions from diplomats, all nuclear experts accredited to the International Atomic Energy Agency could add to the growing international pressure on Iran over its nuclear program, which Tehran insists is for peaceful uh, purposes. UN proposes global governance over how Earth is managed. According to Fox News, an environmental report issued by an agency of the United Nations has some critics sounding the alarm, saying it is a clarion call for global governance over how the earth is managed. The report, titled 21 Issues for the 21st Century, uh, from the United Nations Environment Program Foresight Process is the culmination of a two-year deliberative process involving 22 core scientists. Uh, its critics see an agenda lurking in its 60 pages, which call for a complete overhaul of how the world's food and water are created and distributed. Something the report says is urgently needed for the human race to keep feeding and hydrating itself safely. The Bible talks about a shortage of food in the last days in Revelation chapter 6, verses 5 through and 6, rather. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. A third today, electronic passports spread to half the globe. According to Contactless News, nearly half of all United Nations member states are now issuing biometric e-passports according to the newest data from the International Civil Aviation Organization, the UN agency that oversees international air travel. ICAO reports that 93 out of 193 UN member states now issue e-passports with 21 additional countries ready to deploy the technology in the next 12 to 48 months. Each of these uh, documents contains a contactless integrated circuit chip that stores biometric data that is facial, fingerprint, or iris, uh, rather iris of the passport holder, as well as other encrypted identification data. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Revelation thirteen sixteen and 17 that the Antichrist will cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, 
to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Fourth today, U.S. will give bunker busters and aerial refueling to Israel alongside diplomacy for Iran or regarding Iran. According to Depkafal, American sources disclosed that President Barack Obama had decided to let Israel have weapons system suitable for a long-range military operation and strikes against fortified underground targets. They include four KC-35 aerial, aerial refueling aircraft, doubling the number already in the Israeli Air Force's inventory, and direct attack munition bombs of the type which serve U.S. bombers, especially those based on aircraft carriers. You can read these stories in depth and get more prophecy-related news at www.secondcomingherald.com In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. And Matthew 24, 44, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready to go, back to be with the Lord when the rapture takes place. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. May I encourage you, dear friend, to accept Jesus Christ, to receive Jesus Christ into your heart today by believing on him that he died for you, was buried, and rose again. And I assure you that he will save you. For God so loved the world. If you're in this world, God loves you. And that no matter what you have done, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you, to suffer, to shed his blood, uh, to pay your sin debt that whosoever believeth in him if you just believe in Jesus Christ just look to him and he will save you should not perish that means should not perish in hell everlasting fire but have everlasting life with God in heaven and that's what you want please pray with me this short prayer if you're willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today Holy Father God, I admit that I am a sinner. I confess my sins to you. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me of all of my sins based upon what you've done for me on the cross. I come to you now by your grace. I believe in you. I believe that you paid my sin debt on the cross, uh, a debt that I could not pay. I thank you for shedding your blood for my sins. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Dear friend, if you pray that prayer with me, I want to be the first to congratulate you on doing the most important thing you will ever do in life. You will not regret it, I guarantee it. May God bless you. you got to get your business straight.